What's up everybody? No hat today. It's kind of a mess. My name is Russ with RWGResearch.com, QuantumGravityResearch.org, and today I'm going to be showing you some interesting stuff. I'm going to be attempting to shield this magnetic coil that I've been using for these magnetizing experiments. This is number whatever. And um, so this is the this is the material I'm going to be using. Alright, the idea behind uh, using this material some sort of a uh, material. This stuff is actually called Gridon, I believe is how you pronounce it. And uh, here's some initial information in case you're curious. Um, so basically I'm going to use this stuff and I've got a big hole of it right here. I'm going to be using this stuff to try and shield um, basically this iron core to, to um, concentrate flux into a particular point. Alright, so I'm going to need something to actually allow only the flux to come out this particular point. I'm going to machine a point on this side when I'm done uh, with these tests and actually go ahead and try using a pen dot instead of a square. This is a square, but I'm, it, I'll use it first for testing. But the idea here is that this core fits inside of here then I'll be taking some of this shielding material and placing it over this with a hole inside of it just big enough to uh, allow that to come through. Now what I'm going to do first is actually set a sheet of this over this okay, and put a magnet on top of this coil and see if it magnetizes. Then I'll remove it and see if it magnetizes and we'll just get a judgment for what it does, how much it actually shields. If it shields it completely then we're in business. If it only shields it a little, then we may need to double layer it. Um, I don't know exactly what material this is made out of, but it almost looks like just laminated iron uh, laminate core material, similar material, some sort of a particular electrical type steel, I, I assume. Um, this paperwork, it just says, does not contain nickel, as, and it's unlike any other magnetic shielding material available on the market. Uh, it does mention here that it's both thin and strong, unlike mu metal. It is very tolerant to being to bending or shaping without losing its shedding uh, shielding properties. Because if you if you actually machine mu metal, you have to retreat it to actually make it um, work the way you really want to. I do have some little pieces of mu metal from hard drive magnets, but I'm not going to try those because we have this. This it says it's good up to two tesla. I think that'll create up to 3.5 tesla if I'm not mistaken. I'm at its maximum potential and its um, highest flux density, etc., etc. Don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what I read somewhere on the information I was looking at with this machine. -ery. So, let's do the test. See what happens. Alright, so the first test, I'm just going to set it on top of here and see what happens with the iron core. Pull out. <laughs> it actually sucked that sucker into the core and uh, and marked it pretty good. Okay, so we know it's attracted to the coil for sure. Let's try it without the coil. I saw sparks come off that thing. Let's try it again, maybe see if we can level this thing out.
to stand back for this dangerous experiment. Alright, so it's highly magnetic. It says my, my magnet for sure. Very, very magnetic. According to that coil pulling down on it. Wow. Okie dokie. Um, so, I made this little plastic jig and I want to show it to you. And uh, I'm going to need to modify it slightly, but for the first test, it's going to work great. So basically, this little iron core sticking out of the top, basically it's that same piece that I had. Alright, so it's focusing the flux, and I want it to come out just in one little spot. And the idea, the idea here is to see if I can indeed magnetize this magnet right here, just using this right above here. And then the next test, I'm going to actually overlay this guy and see if I can uh, magnetize the magnet with this shielding material in place. So that's the goal. We'll see what we come up with. Oh. Seven point eight three kiloamps. It appears quite magnetic. All right. So on one side we got about three point four, almost three point five. And on the side facing the magnet. We've got almost full potential. There's five, five point three. So, yes, magnetize it outside on the external side of that, no problem. Let's try the shielding material. And this time with shielding material. That's not a good sign. <laughs> okay, well, that's not real helpful. It's only a tiny bit less. All right, I'm going to try the same experiment, but I'm going to do it at 1100 volts instead of the maximum, almost 3000.
with shielding material now. Not a good sign. Well, almost the exact same strength um, with or without the shielding material, even with the lower input pulse. I don't know. We'll have to keep experimenting, find out what we can come up with. Well, we'll use the whole roll since um, a little strip doesn't seem to help. Let's make sure we get a good shielding on this thing. Now that didn't work either, did it? <laughs> 